In this video, we will discuss about the distinction between class A, class B and class C amplifier. According to the mode of operation, amplifiers are classified into three types, class A, class B and class C. What is mode of operation? In the previous video, we have discussed about load line and in the load line you have cut up mode, saturation mode and active mode. This is basically the load line. You uh, watch the previous video, then you can know about the load line. And in the load line, you have an operating point. So, this is your class A amplifier circuit diagram, basic circuit diagram of a class A amplifier. In the class A amplifier, you see this is the input signal. Signal given in the input and this is the output signal in the amplifier. So, in class A operation, the collector current flows for full cycle of the input AC signal. This is you see the full cycle of the input AC signal and in the output also you will get full cycle, cycle of the AC signal. That is the uh, conduction angle is equal to 360 degree. And you see, since the quotient point lies at the middle of this load line, so you have some DC uh, in the output. Since you have some DC in the output, so the efficiency in class A operation is less. And this is the circuit diagram for class B amplifier. And class B amplifier is also called push-pull amplifier. And in this amplifier, the collector current flows for half cycle of the input AC signal. You see, this is the input AC signal and this is the output signal. And uh, the collector current flows for half cycle of the AC signal. And here you see the Q point is here. The Q point is here. That means there is no uh, current due to the DC source, the Q point basically arises due to the DC source that is the biasing potential. So, there is no current flow due to the DC source. That is why in this case, the efficiency is more. In case of class B operation amplifier, the efficiency is more as compared to class A amplifier. That is why in class B amplifier, the conduction angle is 180 degree. That is half cycle. The, you see the half cycle of conduction. So, conduction angle is uh, 180 degree. And this is the circuit diagram for your class C amplifier. And you see in case of class C amplifier, you have the Q point here. That means the collector current flows for less than half cycle of the AC signal. This is your AC signal and this is your output current. So, collector current flows for less than half cycle of this AC signal. And here the conduction angle is less than 100, 180 degree. And since in class C amplifier, it conducts less than half of the input signal, uh, it will have less heat production and therefore better efficiency than the other amplifiers. So, if you compare the efficiency of the class A, class B and class C amplifier, you see the efficiency of class A is uh, less than the efficiency of class B amplifier is more and the efficiency of class C amplifier is uh, more than class B and class A amplifier. So, you have to remember these two facts. Number one, in class A amplifier, collector current flows for full cycle of the input AC signal and in class B, collector current flows for half cycle of the input AC signal and in class C, collector current flows for less than half cycle of the AC signal. You have to also remember for the conduction angle in class A the conduction is 
फुल साइकिल आर 360 डिग्री 360 डिग्री ऑफ कंडक्शन दैट इज थीटा इक्वल टू टू पाई फॉर क्लास बी दैट इज पुसफुल द कंडक्शन इज हाफ साइकिल ऑफ 180 डिग्री ऑफ कंडक्शन दैट इज थीटा इज इक्वल टू पाई एंड प्लस फॉर क्लास सी एम्पलीफायर इट इज स्लाइटली लेस देन 180 डिग्री ऑफ कंडक्शन दैट इज इन केस ऑफ क्लास सी एम्पलीफायर द कंडक्शन इज लेस देन फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द इनपुट सिग्नल इज यूज so question will come distinguish between class a class b and class c amplifier and uh, discuss about class b push pull amplifier with a circuit diagram so in the next video we'll discuss about class b push pull amplifier thank you